How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting the fuck? What's going on? What's going on, people? I come to you with, um, a new woman, it's a full figure woman, she's a trans in the model. Her name is Shay, and I want to introduce you to her. Go, go, go. Check this out. Shay Nearly, a plus size trans in the model from Pittsburgh cover story, had already showcased a range of races and sizes in previous imagery, but in castings, its next campaign, the brand saw a Nearly represented another sector of its customer base that needed to be seen. Nearly life as experienced before joining the fashion world reminds us of how the work that needs to be done. Ahead, the Brooklyn resident discusses living life as a trans woman, shopping as a plus size woman, and how the fashion industry treats those who are both. She tells her story. I was born and raised in Poconos when I was 14 years old. I was living in Pennsylvania. I didn't really know what I was. I really didn't know what was wrong with me. I couldn't tell any, I couldn't really understand it. At one point, I very much defined myself as a gay man. I started doing drag when I was in the senior of, year of high school. I was a part of the drag house. I had a bunch of gay friends and I came out. When a new model is touted for being different and diverse, it seems like you're always photographed naked. Why do you think this happens? She says, oh my God, the truth is statement ever. I've done maybe eight to 10 naked shots. I'm a new trans plus model to the scene, but I have yet to find any designer winner to actually dress me for a shoot or book me an actual high profile gig. You're not willing to get dressed. You're not willing to find a designer to get clothes for a shoot, Photograph says. You're not going to hide your body. We want your raw body. Hmm. How about designing some clothes for my raw body? Also, why do trans women get booked for shoots and then put them in suits? The industry always wants trans women to look a bit masculine because they somehow more high fashion. If you're not androgynous, if you're if you're too feminine or too masculine, they don't want to book you. They want to they want people to know you're trans. They can include it in the press release so it's on and so forth it ended up exploring my identity to make designers look better cover story does a really good job on doing comfortable classic styles which very much represent the new woman instead of the definitions of what women were like in the past and being stigmatized into being either sexy or conservative, finding plus size designers who are willing to dress a plus body and sexy and simple and straight size body is difficult. I think I can name like three designers who actually do a good job on dressing plus size individuals. I very much love my body, my shape, my represent, my gender. I enjoy using fashion as a vehicle to portray how I want to be observed. When people meet me, they always say, "Oh, you're dressed well, so well. Oh, so you're so you're very well put together." Cover story also said they spoke to Melissa McCarthy last year, and she lamented how plus size section is usually hidden next to the tires in the back. <laughs> I love her. She's working so hard to bring a brand new to plus size women, which I love, but it is true. You stigmatize even in the big cities. If you don't have a budget, the places you can shop are Lane Bryant, Avenue, Dress Barn, or you can order online. That's my favorite. For example, online plus size brand that doesn't have brick or multiple stores. But the bottom line is a plus size woman you can you can't really try anything on if you're shopping online. So basically, plus size women are told you're willing to take your money and you're willing to dress you, but only through the computer screen. We want you to give us your checkbook and we'll send you your clothing. Even if you don't know what it is going to look like or how it's going to fit. You can't try anything on or just it's for small girls. They want your money but they don't want you in the stores. <laughs> exactly, it's a double-sided knife. Like, you make fashion for you, but you can only get it mailed to you. Well, this is her story. 
Woman Shay, you go ahead and you knock down doors, girl, because whether you know it, as of December the 19th, 2016, you are doing so much of a progress to the girls out here who are big, they want to be models and stuff, and you're actually showing them that they could do it. So stand in your truth, be true to you, and don't let nobody deter you of your life and your dream, sister. We love you, my transgender model. Work mama. Okay, you see that? Stay in there, beautiful. You know, I just want to bring this to the attention of a lot of girls. You know, because some girls want to be models and stuff. And I want to just try to show them their different avenues and stuff that you could go down as far as, you know, being the kind of girl you want to be as far as being trans and stuff. Don't let them want to deter you from your dreams and your goals in life. You know, even though you get a lot of people that stay in the opposite of what, you know, you're trying to do, you have to always make sure you close your ears on the naysayers. And remember, everybody that's trans, I said before, you are a true leader within yourself. You're represented for someone who's behind you. You're represented for someone who's actually before you. Because sometimes people get weak and they kind of lose their way. You can actually show how strong you are to kind of make people balance out on who they are when they're at a point in their life where, you know, they're very unhappy and stuff and things are not going their way. And they see you as far as being out there, as far as fighting in the forefront. You know, like she was saying before, you know, it's, we have a long way to go, and we know that as far as well. But, you know, I just want to share this story with you as far as the person is trying to be positive and moving forward in the world of diversity. And it would have been said, I was the one to share it with you, and I love you feel about this. A full figure transgender woman. Shay. Nearly. All right, mama. And it would have been said, I was the one to share it with you and let you know that I love you. I don't want to thank you for watching. Catch the rain.